welcome back. Today I want to take a look at how we can how we can create an uh, abilities toolbar. As you can see in this reference being Valorant, you can see this toolbar down here for the abilities. Now, of course, there are uh, variants here. Some have uh, one bar, some have two, and the ultimate here has uh, the uh, charging indicators right here so we're gonna take a look at how we can make this and then we're going to import this into roblox studio so i hope you guys are ready also if you guys like tutorial videos like this head over to our store we have a new section for premium tutorials right here and we have the design academy bundle this will give you access to all tutorials courses ebooks that are coming very soon so go ahead check it out link is down below and with that being said let's start um let me extract this portion so this is uh clear for us large and let me also change our background color so i have something to work on anyways the first step for us is we're going to create this decorative uh element so Make a new layer. We're gonna go to our pencil. Uh, I'm gonna turn fill off. I'm gonna go stroke will be on. And then I'm gonna go right to the center. Uh, we're just gonna make a point. And then I'm gonna hold shift. Click right here. We're gonna uh, start curving up like so. Curve until right here. Just about. So now we have this kind of shape. Uh, let's increase the size here. I'm gonna go for like three, perhaps a little too much. We'll go for like two, and then we can hit Control J to make a copy. And then I'm gonna go Control T, right click and flip. Right here, as you can see, this is what we have. And then uh, the opacity is lowered, so we can also. I'm just gonna uh, lower the fill. 70. Um, on a new layer, I'm going to go for our rectangle. The corner radius is going to be zero, and then we're just going to make a shape. Eight pixels in size could work. We're going to go back to fill for this one. Uh, we're going to go control T. Angle up here, we're going to go for 45. And as you can see, this is looking pretty nice. Now, this shape is very easy. Uh, if we drag a guideline, this can help us create this shape much easier. Go down, across, control J, control T, flip. And here we have our beautiful uh, shape right here. As you can see, and that is the you know that is basically the general idea here all right so i found some uh i'm just gonna use these only for you know only for the purpose of an example placeholder so i'm just gonna extract two of these i'm not gonna get all these uh so here here's one I'm just gonna refine the lines a little same thing here Okay, so for example, if we scale this down, kind of the same size right there, okay. Okay, cool. Um, let me merge these two shapes. Boom. And then, I'm going to take this. This is all one group. And basically, let's copy. Okay. There's a little line. We can also add that uh, later. If you want to go ahead and do this part, you can also go ahead. Just take your pencil and uh, repeat the same process. But um, okay, so I'm just gonna put this this icon here, and then uh, copy two more. Okay. So basically, here is how we're going to import this into Roblox. 
You want to make sure all of your assets are white in color. I'm going to start with the bar, okay? I'm going to hit right click, quick export. I'm just going to call this ability uh, underscore bar. You can call this anything you want. I would recommend uh, using underscores with, with like a prefix and the actual name. Uh, just keep it organized and easy um, to navigate. I'm going to export the lines here separately. And I'm going to go fill all the way up. You want to have a, uh, you want to have it fully opaque when you export, so you can actually control it inside of Studio. I'm going to go export. I'm going to call this ability uh, border, I guess, and then also the little shape here. So ability, I'm just going to call this dot. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as for our icons, uh, you want to export this. On a separate canvas so I'm gonna go for like I think 92 by 92 right here I'm gonna grab two of these icons I'm gonna center here it is this will be icon underscore shield and this will be icon underscore attack I guess now we're gonna head into Roblox studio Okay, so I'm just going to import all of our assets right here, as you can see. Cool. Let me set up my uh, plugin. Okay. All right, let's make a new screen GUI. This will be toolbar. We're going to make a frame. This will be our canvas. Gonna fit, background off, my hit scale. And basically, now we're going to go, let's go for a frame. This will be our bottom your anchor uh, let's go for size relative xx and size let's go for x x1 0 so it goes all the way uh, across it fills the uh, the space here for anchor point I'm gonna go for x um why I'm gonna go for like one down here so the position is 0.5 and one so we'll scale and this should be like around 230. Okay, that should be good. I'm going to make this red and then uh, decrease the uh, opacity. Okay, so right here, I'm just gonna make some guidelines um, for this frame here. So I'm gonna go for like something like this. Okay, as you can see, and then I'm gonna go 802 by 176. So we're gonna make a frame. This will be 802 offset 802 by 176. Anchor right to the center. Okay. Go scale. Now in here we're gonna add a UI list layout. You go for fill horizontal, vertical aligned by the center. We're gonna add a frame in here, and this will be our template. Nicholas. This will basically be let's grab a size here. Boom and boom. The size is gonna be the same height. Let's do 170 in uh, width. Okay, so size Y is gonna be one, size one zero, size X is gonna be 170. When I hit scale. And then change the color and the opacity. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Basically, the idea here is that we're gonna um, add our assets inside this template frame. So, firstly, let's add image label. This will be our border. I'm gonna go copy ID. I'm gonna go paste, anchor, and background off. Now the size is 164 by 30. Now you can see we have our nice little um, border here. There we go. And then we're also inside the border. I'm going to add our little dot shape as well. Okay, let's go back and off. Set anchor and then scale this down. And also down here. This is this is still too large a size. Let's go for like 14. 
Okay, we'll go fast scale with the aspect ratio constraint right here. This will also be scale. And now basically, uh, inside of border, we're also gonna add our actual bar. Well, actually, we, let's just call this our main. Okay, so bar, copy, paste, and the size is 136 by, oops, by 20. Background off, let's hit scale. And here it is, you could see our nice little UI. And then we're also gonna add our icon. So icon, if you recall, the size is 92 right here. Okay, icon shield, copy, paste, background off and scale like so. And here it is, basically, we are going to take the background off now and we're gonna copy this template. Um, let's make this a button, actually. Okay, we're gonna copy one, two, three, four. We're gonna go uh, center align and then add some padding. Pretty cool. Back on off, scale, back on off. Also, you can see the border here. Uh, we're, gonna we're going to drop the opacity to like 0.5. You see it adds a nice touch okay so for these right here i'm going to drop the opacity to make these uh inactive states uh, basically and then these right here i'm just going to color these so into a nice beautiful color like like so make dark in a little bit all right now as you guys can see we have and abilities toolbar just like so okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if this has been helpful drop a like down below and also check out our store if you would like to support so yeah thank you for watching and again uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time